system? Last time we talked about a coordinate system, we were talking about moving over and up squares, right? So if I've had one, two, three this way, and one, two, three this way, I got my squares right here. And if I wanted to mark this line right here, my coordinate for that would be over two and up two, or two, two. If I wanted to label this line, I'd go over three and up one, or three, one, right? So as we talk about today's lesson, we're going to take a look at how that works on the globe. So go ahead and label your notebook, Global Coordinate System, and we'll get started. So we're going to start off by drawing a globe right here, but you want to leave yourself plenty of space around your picture to be able to label some things. So about the same size as mine, go ahead and draw a circle. Okay, and we know the globe is not a circle, it's a sphere, so we'll do the best we can with our drawing. Okay, so the first coordinate line that I want to talk about is called the equator. So go ahead and draw a dotted line that breaks the Oh, not really at about uh, halfway right there. Exactly half of the globe. Now, mine's not perfect, but this breaks our hemispheres into the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. So go ahead and label the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. And we also know we've got the North Pole up here and the South Pole down here. Okay, so this is the main line of what we call latitude right there. It's zero degrees latitude, and we call it the equator. So go ahead and write the word equator next to it. And the equator runs from side to side right there, a line of latitude, okay? So that's the main one, but we also have other parallels of latitude that we can draw, that we use to be able to find different things on the globe. So go ahead and label parallels of latitude. I call them parallels because you'll notice that they are um, parallel to the equator. Okay, so we can also break our hemispheres up into a eastern hemisphere and a western hemisphere. We do that with lines of longitude. So our major line of longitude that breaks it at zero degrees is the prime meridian. The prime meridian runs north and south. But remember, it breaks the hemispheres up into the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere. Okay, so What's different about the latitude lines and the longitude lines is we don't have parallels of longitude because they start at the North Pole and end at the South Pole, so they're more like semicircles. You can draw lines of longitude within your globe. So you can see that coordinate system beginning to form, right? So we get lines of longitude. Let's go ahead and choose part of that. We got lines of longitude. Go ahead and label that. Okay, so go ahead and pause right here if you need more time to finish out your drawing and do your labeling because we're going to move on on how to use this coordinate system to find some different parts on the globe. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look right here in your student reference book. I've covered up some of our answers right here with a post-it note. So just like we used um, on the coordinate system, we go over and up, over and up, or we might be going over and down as we talk about the, the whole globe here. All right, so if I wanted to look at Philadelphia right here, I notice that my line of latitude is 40 degrees, and then my lines of longitude, 
I'm looking are between 80 and 70, so 75. So if I were to label what Philadelphia is, I'm looking at 40 degrees north, 75 degrees west, okay? So I want you to take a look and ask yourself, Los Angeles right there, okay? We've got 30 degrees here and 40 degrees. So what line of lawn latitude is it on? So it's between 30 and 40, okay? That's right, it looks about 35, right? And then we look where we are right here going up and taking a look, we're between 120 and 110 because remember the prime meridian is zero and it's moving and getting bigger this way for going west and then we're at zero and moving and getting bigger this way to go east. So we're on the western hemisphere here. So that's why our lines are going bigger this way. So we've got 110 and 120 right here. If I take a look, and this is closer to the 120, it's not exactly halfway. So I might say that's about 118, 117 maybe. So the coordinates for Los Angeles right here, I'd say are 35 degrees north because it's in between the 30 and the 40. It might be a little bit closer to the 30, so I could maybe say 34 degrees north and about 117 degrees west, okay? So right here, I want you to ask yourself, what is Atlanta right there? We've got 30 degrees north, 40 degrees north right here. So first ask yourself, what's the line of latitude that it might be? You might notice it's a little bit closer to the 30 than it is the 40, not too much closer. So if you're thinking about 34, you're about right. And now we need to look going up. We're in between the 90 and the 80, because remember they're going this way from our prime meridian right there. So we've got 80 and 90, and as I take a look, it's about halfway. So for Atlanta right there, I'd say that we're at 34 degrees north and 85 degrees west. And we'll practice this more in the classroom tomorrow. So thanks friends for watching and I will see you later.